Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. I'm excited about this one. It is still Steam Next Fest. And one of the games included is this one. I expected to die to the Spy and the Liar. Uh, this is just a taste of the game. Uh, it's a demo. Um, but I'm excited to jump in. I expected to die is one of my favorite VR titles of all time. Having a sequel is awesome. Agent, can you hear me? Yes. Don't worry, the briefcase is safe. Do you remember what happened? Ah, uh, your memory might be a bit patchy from the attack. Well, take all the time you need. You're back at headquarters and you're perfectly safe. You'll find a tape on the desk in yes. front of you. Load okay. the tape into the projector console on your right. Now, I imagine you might recognize that bomb disposal device in front of you from your okay. time as a cadet. In fact, sure. it, given the wear and tear, it might be the same one. Well, I'm sure it still works. Now, let's see. How do I... Ah, yes, there it goes. Oh, just a bit further now. Right, disarm ah. this bomb, if you would. So bad. Yes. Next, the machine should dispense a grenade for you. Ah, there it is. Let's use it to test out that right. telekinetic implant of yours. Yes, exactly. Why don't you pick it up and bring it closer? Now, yeah. try using your telekinesis to hover the grenade nearby. Good, your telekinesis is still working. <laughs> I hear that when those things malfunction, it's usually very messy. Now to dispose of that grenade. Use your telekinesis to place it inside the blast chamber. Shut the door and then pick up that remote detonator so you can explode the chamber's contents. I need this remote detonator. Oh, that's pretty cool. Good, <laughs> good. For your final test, you will need to dispose of three more explosives hidden around the examination room. Good luck. I'll give you a list, so you know what you're looking for. I suggest you hover the clipboard nearby, so you can refer to it as you conduct your search. Search the exam room, Agent. Find and dispose of every explosive. Cabinet. Yep, there, there it is. There's something else in the cabinet, too. I don't know what that was. Let's uh, close that. I meant to close that. Excellent. I'll That's make a one. special note regarding your technique. This is. Ah, gauze pads. Those might be useful later. Let's see what's in here, if anything. Ah, yes. Another bomb. What's great is you can use both hands as well. Just like that. Well done. Fine motor skills. Grabbing, aiming... I wish I would have had these to begin with. A laser detention unit. No more overheating. Harness deadly lasers to make sure your valuables be, remain valuables. Interesting. Uh, let's see what else I got in here. More bandages. Some tape. Adhesive. Let's see. Anything else? This lower drawer is a bit locked. Okay. So let's see... Nice hat. Very fine hat. I'll wear that for a bit. Ah, there's the other bomb. Let's see what these are first, though. Tick dressing. It's toothpaste. Uh, absorbent lotion. Okay. Another dressing. A lint dressing. Some weird stuff here. Uh, of course, that looks almost like a paddle. Maybe a spoon. Search the exam room, Agent. Find and dispose yeah, yeah, yeah. of every explosive. I know. I'm just... I'm exploring the exam room. I see a toothbrush over here. Yeah, make my pearly whites pearly whites. 
guess I can leave it in my mouth. That's weird, but okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and close that door. There we go. Good work, Agent. You We've been cleared for field tests with flying colors. I've got just about everything I need. Don't worry, Agent. I've got everything under control. That uh, black smoke was kind of weird. Oh, dude. I, I watched the uh, credits for this. I'm excited for this. Because the credit sequence when the first game was so good to like experience in VR. And this is going to be the same I can tell on also, the theme song is by Puddle's Pity Party, which is a pretty awesome act. From the spotlight, I can see you. Play your cards right, kill your stage fright, this could be you. Give all the world a stage, let's set it on fire. So, so on a flat monitor, this so doesn't really be do this justice, I'll like I'm gliding on the back of the bomb. This is so cool. From the background, you can hear me. Highest billing makes a killing. Really they the best me. credit sequences that I've ever seen. In, mask you wear is in any virtual reality. Desire. Desire. So you be the, the spy and I'll be the liar. The man with the mask. And he shot me. That was cool, the blood dripping down on my head. Again. And through the camera lens we ascend. You're a minor part. I'm the major star. Ha! The credits are more than just the end. Cause the truth is, I despise you. I will tear apart all these works of art that disguise you. I'm making the final cut. It's down to the wire. So oh, you'll yeah, be the spy and I'll be the liar. And I'll be the liar. And I'll be the liar. And I'll be the Roll us right into a surveillance van. This is I know this van isn't as luxurious as your old office, but we can't let Zoraxis know you survived your last mission. You've got a knack for putting a wrench in Dr. Zor's plans, so Zoraxis employees may not react kindly if they recognize you. On the bright side, nice now you've got a mini fridge. Sure. As usual, Zoraxis Corporation is up to something vile Some and beans. nefarious. But we haven't been able to figure Sandwich. out what. The oh. Prime Minister is certainly making himself a target. Mm. Keep an ear to the radio agent. So we've got you some never salt know what they might let slip. Now, your briefing materials should be arriving any second. Ah, where's that blasted courier? Ha! Speak of the devil. Take the cartridge Sandwich. from the tray on your right and load it gently Many into helmets. the cartridge viewer in front of you. I love the uh, hats in game. If it's Mr. Scoop, it's gotta be good. I wish I could like do a mirror and see me with these silly hats on. It's this one. Not that one too. And this one says something on the inside. Brownly. Ah, a press cap. And then this red one seems very similar to the one that was in the other place. We've got this logo here. Almost reminds me of where in the world's Carmen San Diego there a little bit. And we've got a swish bucket there. Ah, mission souvenirs. 
Each mission has six souvenirs to collect, hidden trophies, master of disguise, and curtain call. Okay, pick me up to here, souvenir, and, and that's what we did, we got a souvenir reward. Sound. Let's re-switch, switch that, there we go. Turn that on, actually, you know what? on the new initiative by Zorax's defense, the Prime Minister of the Mediterranean Commonwealth has this to say. I'll say it again. I'm assuming it's this guy. I don't trust Zoraxis. If they want to operate here, they'll have to get through me first. So we've got an ID Welcome card, an affiliation code, restrictions. I guess we're getting a backstage the pass to the Mask of the Red no Death, okay? We've all seen it. On the big screen and the red carpet. We're looking for John Jupiter, Juniper, which it said JJ in the credits there. With him and your Assuming he's one of the important characters. He's Prince Prospero in Mask of the Red Death. Please Protect him at all costs. And it says this is Operation Stage Fright. Um, let's see, is there anything else to tune to here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, I guess now, we'll jump in. Now, our intel indicates the Prime Minister is attending an event in Manhattan tonight. My instincts say Zoraxis will try something there. And my instincts are only wrong about half the time. Oh, and the event is 50, hosted 50 by track. Hollywood actor John Juniper. <laughs> oh, I'm such a fan. His performance in Marigolds Are Forever was so... Uh, um, excuse me. Let's get you undercover so we can figure out what Zoraxis is up to. Marigolds are forever. <laughs> I guess we'll hit start. Keep headphones on, so we're going to put those on. And it says to My set My instincts stage. were right. This place is crawling with Zoraxis operatives. Pictures. Now you're, you're all sent up backstage. Ways. Maintain your cover Transport. as a stagehand until you can find and disable the threat. I managed to snag a ticket to the show, so I'll keep an eye on the Prime Minister. You know, for a man who could launch 50 nukes with the push of a button, he's much more grandfatherly than I expected. Well, find out what Zoraxis is up to. Attention, stage crew. Today is the big day. If anything goes wrong with my play, well, remember what happened to that sound designer. Wait, what happened to Jerry? Is Set he... the stage, everyone. I want an impeccable performance from all of you. Oh, you up there, up in the catwalk. Be Listen. sure to follow the new instructions I left on your clipboard. That voice sounds familiar. Stay on your guard, Agent. So let's see. I feel like. <laughs> oh, you up there? Yes, you. You're That's a stagehand. Get the stage ready. Okay. So banners down, light rig up, clock at 100. Okay, so banners down, I'm assuming, is going to be one of these. So let's do. What's this do? Ah, light rig up. Okay. Let's lock that into place. I'm assuming this is going to be banners down. Yes, but banners down. Lots of banners to bring down. This needs to be red. I feel like I need to have that clock turn on. It's not on yet, so let's try this maybe. Oh, we're almost there ready is. to go. Keep an eye on your cue light. I'll turn it on when we're ready for curtain up. So we need those at zero, those at zero. 
And I'm, I'm not gonna do that yet. I've got some donuts here. I don't feel like I should eat those. Let's make a show to remember, people. Let's, uh, let's toss those away. So I've got another hat over here. And a crossbow. That might be useful. Looks like there's a shield, too. Good props. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but I might need those. Let's see what's in these drawers. Ah, some poison darts. Okay. Those are helpful. And then what does this say? Q sheet. Q line. Come the hour is late. The great clock down the hall. And then there's different sound effects we need to do. And it says don't mess with it. I'm assuming based on that prop up there. We've got a key. Um, hmm. Key works right there. All right. Don't want any more darts right now. But let's see what's. Oh, this is helpful. Some glasses. A. Uh, Fetching watch, if I do say so, and uh. Ugh, no, no, that's not a good look for you, love. It's completely wrong for the shape of your face. Maybe if you. <clears throat> no, not the time. Back to work! Okay, so that gave me some things. Let's see, is there anything. anything here? Because I feel like I need a combination for this right here. Ah, the Phantom was here, say 1967, let's try it, one, no, one, two, oh, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, that was easier than I expected, let's see, we've got a trophy with or an award, maybe, with two masks on it. That was cool. It says, always time to die there. Okay. All right. Um, so what else do we have to do here? Um, set that there. I feel like I should probably get rid of that pizza box, because it's a donut box, rather. Eh, we'll leave it. It just feels like it's in the way. There. Now it's out of the way. Alright. So what do we have to do? Set the stage. We did that. Uh, the light rig is up. Let's do... Maybe that? Uh. Oh. Forgot. That. Oh. Hmm. John Juniper in the flesh. Oh, Agent I uh, Well, I'm sure he you is. can John handle Juniper. things from here. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Now, I know what you're thinking. John, these tickets cost more than my yacht. This better be good. It better. I also want to take the opportunity to make a special announcement. I've got something new in production. I can't say too much yet, but I can safely say that you've never seen anything like it. Oh no! Okay, so that's the end of the demo. Um, Agent More missions are debuting in August 2021. And this is going to be available on Oculus, Valve Index Live, and more. Awesome! 
So that was I Expect You to Die 2. Uh, kind of a brief demo, but it actually contained a bit of fun. Uh, definitely has the same charm as the original, and I'm looking forward to the full game. So let's see what else we've got this week. All right, the second title is called Sentenced, and it says Sentenced is an experience that lasts around an hour and is designed to be played in one sitting. Progress is saved automatically. The consequences of your actions are permanent. The game contains graphic violence. Events depicted are based in historical law and punishment from 16th century Europe. As such, it contains descriptions of crimes which you may find disturbing or triggering. Not normally my type of thing. So virtual reality is an immersive experience that can be intense. Certain risks may include but are not limited to lots of words hope you enjoy sentenced and find it as interesting and worthwhile an experience as i found making it samuel gordon press and hold to release and then teleport so i've got purple gloves and hold and pick up objects. Chop off its head. It's a good way to begin. It says the Lord's Prosecute. Welcome, Executioner. Thank you. I see you've arrived safe and sound. I have. As expected. Law and order thrive here, as you'll yeah. soon witness firsthand. On the scaffold, our foremost concern. Excellent. I look yes, forward I to working with you. Oh, is that all I had to do? You were just going to talk to me about signing this document? Okay. I'm not sure what's loading. It says loading a bunch of times. You can quit your job. Hi. Um, there we go. Good citizens of Ulrich Schaffen, this morning we gather to witness the execution of this poor sinner, the thief Benedict Felbinger, also known as the Devil's Lad. This individual is guilty of many instances of thievery. His time spent working in a chain gang did no good to reform him from his evil ways. Neither did his 15 separate temporary imprisonments, nor his 11 banishments, all of which he has broken, <laughs> returning again and again to Ulrich Schaffen to continue thieving. Benedict Felbinger leaves us with no further choice and must serve as an example to those who would continue to flout the mercy and justice of the realm. As such, my lords have decreed and given sentence that this man shall be condemned from life to death by the sword. Do you have any final words? No! <laughs> Do you not wish to ask forgiveness of the Lord? that you might die in a good and righteous way. Dear Father up in heaven, I'm very sorry. Sorry I got caught. <laughs> uh, very well. May God have mercy upon your soul. Executioner, you may proceed. Wait, d don't do this. G give me another chance. You had enough chances, boy. He had enough chances. Down on your knees, sinner. Well, oh. now, Whoops. you have executed as judgment and law have required. Guess I was supposed to wait until he. Oh well. He Shame kind of annoyed me. so young throw their life away. But he was given plenty of chances to turn things around. I agree. That was an exemplary performance today. Here's your pay, plus a small bonus. 
Wow, pay and a small bonus. Thank you for the money. This is an easier job than I expected. I don't really mind the uh, horrible violence when, you know, that kid probably would have been fine living. Let's uh, clean off the uh, sword here. Yeah. Make our sword nice and shiny. Now what? Oh, we can go sharpen our sword too. That makes sense. We want to make it nice and sharp for. To the other side now. Seems only one side considers itself sharpened. And uh, now we'll go over here, chop another head off. This game is seriously just chopping people's heads off. So 80% of the players who've played this have obeyed, 19% have rebelled, and one has resigned. Zero have been fired. <laughs> the full version will have 11 narrative execution scenarios designed to explore the re relationship between personal conscience and obedience to authority. I think this game's actually coming out this fall. Um, so if you'd like to know more, you can check it out then. All right, and this last one is against by a company called Joyway. Grab the sword. Swap hands by pressing the button. So I press the button. Slice according to the arrows to improve your score. All right, so we do this. That's cool. We just wait for them to come to us and then slice Dodge them. the attacks. <laughs> Dodge the attack. Oh, it wants me to go the other way, I see. I see. This is weird. I thought I could just, like, duck. But you have to go in the directions that it, the arrows point. Didn't like that. I don't get it. Wrong. Okay. Dodge, then slice. It didn't even slice, but it sliced, okay? Smash the arrows with your hands. Oh, all I had to do was hit them. Okay. I don't care. This is so weird. Avoid the obstacles. Avoid the obstacles, okay? All right, I avoided an obstacle. I don't even have a sword. Grab the brass knuckles. Where am I grabbing brass knuckles from? Punch when the marker turns red. All right. What marker? <clears throat> okay. This is just not my thing. Let's try again. Smash the arrows with your hands. So now that I understand how to smash the arrows with my hands, <laughs> that's it, it's the gun. Just not not as uh... shoot at the crosshair markers. All right, shoot at the crosshair markers. Grab 
the sword. Chop the red beam in the shown direction. <coughs> what? Okay. Congratulations. Yeah, I I'm not feeling this. We will try the easy level, but I don't think this is going to go over very well. Got hit and I'm gonna go ahead and end this this was against not really my kind of game um, I think it's trying to emulate some style mechanics of pistol whip it's a little too clunky for me unfortunately others might really dig it um, and what I love about Steam Next Fest and other Steam game festivals is all of these games are free to try right now so give it a shot um, I love exploring these titles um, while this one might not be for me it might be perfect for you until next time get out there and enjoy some vr for yourself and thanks for watching bye bye now